Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna start the slide guitar series. Yep, I have a slide around my little finger, and so will you by the end of this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the basic slide techniques that will enable you to play awesome slide guitar music, with finger style, of course. Um, and um, in this video, we're just gonna learn the very, very basics. Then we're gonna progress in subsequent videos to open G tuning slide and open D tuning slide and also to slide soloing. So we're gonna have a lot of fun in this series. So um, you don't need to tune your guitar any different. Uh, this is the standard tuning, okay? And um, we're gonna use just a couple of strings to practice our slide technique, okay? That's the way you start. So, um, Grab your slide and uh, I suggest that you put it around your little finger because that leaves place for soloing with the, the rest of the fingers. And uh, we're gonna start with strings three and four. Okay? And I want you to um, put the slide on the third fret and you just touch the strings. You don't press them. You don't press them too hard so you don't get this. You need okay, a very smooth sound. So you just touch the strings, not too lightly. This is not harmonics. You need to touch the strings with a little bit of force. Okay, otherwise it sounds like this. Okay, it sounds too steely and uh, you don't get the sound out of it. So you need to find the right balance between not pressing too hard and not pressing too lightly. So play the, the third and fourth strings. Okay? And put the slide over the third fret. Now directly over the steel. Okay? You don't uh, play it the same way you do with your finger. You don't put the slide over the wood. You, you put the slide over the steel. And you can use the, the forefinger, the index finger, to mute the strings behind the slide. Okay? Now this produces two different sounds. Because if you play Okay, the, the strings without the muting. Okay, it's a little bit more steely. But if you play the strings and mute using your index finger, it's a little bit more clean. Just a little bit more clean. You'll discover the differences as we go along. Right now, you might not hear it because we're gonna play very, very simple stuff. Now, before we move on, I just wanna remind you that there are now two weekly lessons on Lick and Riff. Okay, two weekly lessons made possible thanks to you, my wonderful, wonderful audience, my wonderful viewers, my terrific students. Thank you, especially those of, among you who uh, donate via Patreon, support Lick and Riff via Patreon and make this possible. And also to those who purchase my Complete Guitar Freedom course series, um, my 10 course, course series. Uh, you can find it on lickandriff.com slash courses if you haven't heard about it yet. The links are below in the description, both to the Patreon page and the courses. So uh, if this is news to you, check the links below. And thank you, I thank you in advance. So, two weekly lessons and now let's slide. So, okay, you'll want to try vib vibrato right away, right when you slide. Because if you only do this, okay, it won't sound too good. Now, I intentionally pressed a little bit too hard to show you the difference between this okay this is not slide this is slide okay you need to vibrate now the vibrato is actually just moving your hand like this just doing this with your hand okay just from the wrist okay you just move the hand slightly once you get used to moving the hand very, very, you know, slightly just to get a light vibrato, you can get crazy and go like this and then you get, okay? you, you can get different sounds out of it. But first you need to get used to the vibrato. So the third fret, slide into it from the second fret and try vibrating. Once you get used to this, go to the fifth fret the same thing then the seventh okay now if you 
don't mute the strings, then when you're playing the seventh fret, you'll discover that you get an echo sound. And that's because you're also producing the harmonics there. You'll hear it far better if you do it on the 12th fret. If you do, if you do it on the 12th fret and then vibrate without muting, you get the harmonics and the, the sound. So you get a sort of, a, a, of an echo sound. You get a steely sound. It's like a surrounding bubble around the sound, if you will. Okay, so try the 12th fret as well. So that's your first exercise. Make this sound good. Play it without the, the finger moving, without it. Okay? And then play it with the mute. You see, it's, it's a bit of a stronger sound. Okay? So um, practice this and then slide down. Slide down to 10. Then to 7. Then to 5. Then to 3. Then 3 to 2. You can slide really slowly. Okay? And then open the strings. But don't pick it, just open it. Okay? This is another effect that you can get from a slide. You can do. Okay, so this is your next trick to learn. Okay? Play the second fret, then let go of it. Okay? Then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. Okay? But you can slide into the fifth. So. Okay, you can slide from the third, you can slide from the second, you can slide from the fourth. Each slide produces a different result musically. Okay? It's, it's gonna play a part when we actually make music. Okay? So just practice this. Just get into the groove. One, two, three, four. Okay? And once you get into the groove, it becomes music. Because once you can feel the rhythm, everything kind of fits into place. You see, also the vibrato sounds really good. So um, practice this, okay? So you can slide. Okay, you can do five, six, seven as well. And then add the second string to it. And now at first it might sound weird, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to find your balance. Okay, so you, you hear all three strings. Okay, strings two, three, and four. Okay, and again, try strings, uh, try uh, frets three, five, seven, and twelve. Okay, and once you get used to the second string as well, you can try strings two and three. Okay, and okay. Now this is the point where we try a little bit of soloing. Just a little bit of it, okay? Um, which is basically everything that I just showed you put together, okay? You can do five slide to three and then you let go of it, okay? Okay, just let him um, scratch. Okay, so, okay? You can do five to three on strings two and three, three and five, uh, three and four. Okay, you can do Five, slide to three, and then just let go. Um, and that will produce the open strings on strings three and four. Okay? Also on strings two and three. Okay? And then you just slide into three twice. Okay? So it's... Okay? So do it on both string sets. Okay? Strings two and three and three and four. Now you can use the index finger to mute. You can play it without any muting whatsoever. Supposed to be dirty. Slide music is dirty. You're supposed to hear the steel. So, okay. Five slide to three. Pull off the slide. Okay. So you can 
Okay, you can hear this. The open strings, okay, without picking, and then slide from two to three twice, and then the open strings. Okay, you can do it on all three strings. Okay. Doesn't sound as good, okay? Usually you solo on one string or two. You can do it on single strings as well. Okay, this one ends well with the third string. Okay? Or okay, slide back to five. And then when you're ready, slide to twelve. Okay, play five slide to three, pull off the slide, and then slide to twelve and vibrate like heck. Okay, so okay on strings three and four. Okay, on strings two and three, on all three. Okay. And just because this is a standard tuning, you can practice instead of this, you can practice on three and three on strings one and two. So you can do Okay, on strings three and four, and then slide to three and three on strings one and two. Okay, it's the same as this. Okay, but okay, you just practice another string that way. Okay, so there's no, there's not much of a difference. Okay, so you just practice. Now it's really difficult not to press it. Okay. There's um, there's um, a nut extender that you can buy that actually lifts the strings and makes the guitar kind of a lap steel thing. And once you practice this, you can actually try playing slide as lap steel. You just play the same thing, and then you see the frets. You hold the the, the you hold the slide in your hand, and you play exactly the same thing. And you use these fingers, okay, the third or the fourth finger, to mute. And it's actually easier than, okay, than, than uh, it's, it's a lot easier than, uh, than playing slide uh, with the guitar upright. Okay. Okay, and, okay, on strength. One and three. So try lap steel as well. It's it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, now, um, I did one thing there that you might ask why it was. It was just arpeggiating instead of uh, picking everything together. I just did yeah, something like this, and then I, I did something like this. I just picked strings three and four, and then the second string. And then I picked the open second string. I don't remember exactly what I did, but this uh, kind of moves on to the next lesson. So <clears throat> I will see you the next lesson, uh, the next slide lesson, and any other le lesson here on Lick and Ref. It's all for free. So thank you very much. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, there are hundreds of free lessons here. And um, I'm always happy to have new viewers and new subscribers. So um, thanks for watching. Go slide, and I will see you the next video. Bye for now.